Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, uh, Big Boy Screamador, and today's another um, FMA tutorial, and we're going to be showcasing the Shema. Now, somebody once asked me, like, you know, Francis, when you travel, what do you carry with you? Now, unfortunately, when you're traveling in a plane, you're limited to what you're allowed to carry because of this, you know, of safety and the laws, of course. So, one of the things, like, you can't definitely can't carry your sticks, you definitely can't carry your knife. Of course, you always have, you know, thunder and lightning, we're going to do a perfect storm on you, you always have those. But... There's something else that I also carry that, um, that, that I use, especially when I'm traveling in a plane, which is the Shema or my scarf, okay? The reason why I carry this is because it has multiple functions. First of all, it's easy. there's no metal on this. You can easily go through the metal detector because it doesn't have any metal. Even if you take it through the, the conveyor belt, it's perfectly fine. You're not going to get stopped for this because you're wearing this. And number two, of course, if you're cold, it's a perfect thing to keep your neck warm, right? Hopefully the audio is not being distorted by the scarf, uh, of course. And then if you're, if you need a little bit of pillow, you know, if you're waiting between, you know, if you're, you're in the layover, you can use this as a pillow, um, you know, or, or, you know, you can use this, you know, lean it against the, the wall of the plane, you can, or you're going to put it back on your head. That's something that you could also do. Or if you have an annoying person sitting next to you, you just cover their face. No, just kidding. Don't do that. Okay. But this is, this is a very versatile uh, thing to carry, especially when you're traveling. But then now as a Filipino martial artist, this has some uh, weapons application as well to it. So one of the things I always preset is I always tie a knot on my Shema, okay? Why? Now, of course, the tighter it is, the more, the more dense it becomes. Now, a little, tip, a little tip that you can also do, if you really want to harden this some more, make sure you tie it multiple times and pour a little bit of water on it and then squeeze the water out. That's going to even tighten it even further. Now, another th so one of the things that I can do is that I always carry, when I wear this, the knot is on behind my head. Okay, so then that's that. So again, I can use this as a as a uh, as a scar. I mean, as a, an arm sling, you know what what not. But this is definitely one of the ways I carry it because if somebody wants to attack me, I'll be able to utilize the the, the shema. So I have my student Raymond here, who's going to be demonstrating this with me. Hey Raymond, how's it going? Okay. So he's going to come and so he's going to back up a little bit, and he's going to come in and back up some more, brother. Okay. So when he comes at me, when he comes and attack me, I'm going to take this off and boom, hit him directly with. With the, with, the, with the knot. So I'm going to back up a little bit some more, and Raymond's going to come in, and boom, that's, that's there. Now, so that's the first thing that you, you can do as far as with the scarf is concerned. You can use this as an attack uh, posture as well. So there you go. That's your FMA tip of tutorial of, to, of the day with the Shema. Uh, stay, to stay tuned for next week for the next tutorial using my scarf. This is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamer. Until next time, peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.